Um, this is the first time I've seen what I look like today. I haven't looked in a mirror. <laughs> so turning the camera on and seeing this was <laughs> kind of shocking. What's up everybody, D-Man back. Welcome to a brand new video. And today we're gonna be doing a quick little updates video. I am so distracted by the side view of myself here. It's so flippy. <laughs> I'm just, I wasn't expecting that. I'm gonna be doing a little bit of a, an update video or, or more of an idea. I'm sharing an idea. No, it's an update. I'm gonna call it an update video. We're off the cuff today. There's no script, baby. We're just rolling with it. To start out, I guess I just want to say big thank you to you guys for all the support you've shown the channel since I came back in, when did I come back? December? Was that one night or was it January? It was December. Big thanks for all the support since I've come back to YouTube in December. I never left. I've always just kind of been floating with little sprinkles of updates here and there, but most people know me for news. So me doing news again is kind of what many consider to be me returning to YouTube. So I guess I'll just roll with it. So just thanks for all the support you've given me since I have come back. Obviously, it's no secret that I'm back in school now. I'm doing my last semester of college here, so I'm very busy, so I have not been able to put a lot of attention into the channel, which is why uploads have slowed like crazy, which is what I'm here to talk to you about. March through May is my really slammed zone. This is when things get the busiest for me, so expect uploads to slow again. Just not going to be able to post as regularly as I would like to. I'm thinking maybe once every other week, to once every three weeks, that kind of deal. But I do have an idea to offset that. I mean, maybe it's not going to be a popular idea, but I'm going to share it with you guys, see what you think. I'm probably going to do it regardless of the feedback on this video, just to see how it goes. And if it goes well, then I'll keep doing it. But if it doesn't, then I'll, I'll stop again. But back in the day, I don't know how many of you guys remember back in the day where I'm talking late 2018, early 2019, whenever I would post a news video that was over 15 minutes, I would post the 15 minute news video because I know a lot of people like the news all all in one go. They like the concentrated dose. They like getting the art at the start. They like getting the smaller stories and they like building to the big story. I know a lot of people like that. And I know a lot of people who just go, I'm just going to click on the 15 minute one, find the part of the video using the chapter times that I want to watch and I'll just watch that. But I know a large amount of people don't like the videos that go over 10 to 15 minutes. They don't want to watch something over 10 minutes. So I get a lot of comments and I definitely did back in the day asking if I could please make smaller videos videos, smaller news videos. So the compromise I found back in the day was I'll post my 15 minute news video and then I'll take maybe one or two stories from that video and post them as their own separate smaller video. They'd be like three to five minute videos or maybe the longest I think they ever got was like seven minutes. But the point was this was a concentrated video, only the one story, but it's just a fragment of the bigger video that had already been posted. Now the reason I stopped doing that was because I kind of had no need to back in the day. I was just doing news so frequently and it was kind of bumping into my schedule as an uploader where sometimes I would want to upload a video but I already had a shorter news segment scheduled so I'd be like oh, what am I supposed to do push that segment so that it becomes super irrelevant or do I upload two videos at the same time and hope that one of them does better than the other and it kind of became a thing where it was like it wasn't really worth pursuing but I do know that a lot of people really enjoyed those smaller videos and I still get requests to this day to upload smaller news videos if I could upload more videos that fall into like the five to seven minute range and so what I'm thinking of doing is posting again those segments of videos like I did back in the day so that if you want to watch the full 20 minute video because my news videos have been getting kind of long lately longer than I would like if the video goes over 13 to 15 minutes that'll be where I'm like ah, maybe it'll be worth segmenting it up like I used to and so there's a couple videos already that I know I want to break into pieces like let's take my last news video for instance the Kong anime video a story that's not in the title or the thumbnail or anything like that was of course where I talked about the MonsterVerse video game. Now what I could do is take that piece and upload it as its own video so that people who don't want to watch that big news video, they still get that news. That's kind of the idea I'm going to try out and see how it goes. I just wanted to let you all know what I'm doing so when I start to do it, you're not caught off guard by it like, what are you doing? I've already seen this video. Now you'll know it's because I'm doing this bigger thing to try and appease the people who don't want the long videos, but then to also try and appease myself because I like making the longer videos and you guys who like watching the longer videos. That's my idea. I also know I get a lot of requests to do YouTube shorts. I don't really know how YouTube shorts work. I know it's not a, a very lucrative industry at the moment. I know that there's a lot of bugs with the YouTube short thing that I, I've heard a lot of creators talk about how it's, it's really not worth pursuing. So I'm going to give it some time and maybe this summer I'll look into YouTube shorts. But at the moment for the people asking why I don't do YouTube shorts, it's because I, I don't personally see the purpose of it right now, but this will still satisfy a certain similar aspect of that. I won't be doing 30 second content, but at least the videos will be short
shorter and they'll be more bite-sized. I hope that will make up for it. Again, maybe this summer when I'm hopefully able to upload more regularly, I'll realize that I don't need to do the shorter segmented videos anymore. But maybe if they're really successful and people really like it the way I do it, then, then maybe I'll keep doing it. I don't know. I'll have to play around with it and see what I feel like. Point is, don't be confused when I start to do what some people would consider re-uploading content by breaking my content into smaller bite-sized pieces. I'm just trying to appease both sides of my audience here. Another thing that it benefits and another reason I'm doing it is because I am going to be very busy, so I'm not going to be able to put a ton of attention into the channel. And just from a YouTube standpoint, it's a smart thing to do because it keeps the channel relevant in the algorithm. So it, it makes it so that when I do post a big new video, people do see it and it doesn't wind up falling to the side like a lot of my videos tend to do. So it'll help keep the channel relevant even when I'm not able to be here all the time. And it'll also hopefully appease both sides of my fan base, people who want the shorter videos and people who want the longer ones. Especially because when I did come back to YouTube in December, a lot of those earlier news and updates that I was posting were shorter, like eight to 10 minutes because I was speed running so quickly. Now that I'm taking time to really discuss each topic, they get longer and longer. Uh, hopefully that'll be another thing that helps. For anybody who wants to support the channel directly, you can using the Patreon, which is linked in the description below where you can get early access to content, access to the Discord community and more. I really, really appreciate the support I get from all my patrons. It really means a lot to me. And as I've said in previous videos, my goal once I graduate is to really dive in with the Patreon community and be a lot more invested with them and spend a lot more time with them. So that's hopefully what's gonna happen. I've got some ideas for Patreon exclusives content that can come out, some stuff that's already recorded and some stuff that I'm working on with other people. And so I think it'll be a fun time. All right, that'll do it for this one, guys. Thanks for letting me check in. I hope you all have a great day. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you guys next time for the next one. D-Man, out.